Good evening. I'm Craig Andrus. Thanks for joining us tonight. You know, this time of year with kids getting out of school, some say a crisis could be on the rise here. Since the pandemic began, ComCare says it's seen a 225% increase in teens needing hospitalization for mental health reasons. That large spike impacting emergency rooms across the state. But as KSN's Jessica Watson explains, there are some programs that can help ease the demand. Craig, it's been called a mental health crisis and the largest spike of people who are affected are teenagers in the month of May. Typically, there is also an increase in teens needing help as summer starts, but the behavior health social work manager at Ascension Via Christi says there are treatments available in the community. With the online world, COVID and the challenges teens already face, the director of quality at ComCare says it's seen some hard years for teens. Somebody comes in and needs hospitalization, we direct them towards hospitalization. If there's not a bed available, typically what happens is they wait in the ER until a bed opens up um, and then they are continually assessed for hospitalization. They're at a developmental stage where they're still trying to get to know themselves and then also taking in the feedback they're receiving from their peers. When needing help in a mental health crisis, Shai Mitra Slaughter with Ascension Via Christi says there is help at the hospitals. All hospitals, I know each campus has their specialty programs and areas, but just being mindful that each campus or each hospital is going to be equipped with behavioral health or individuals who are licensed. Um, providers. Slaughter says for anyone 12 years and older who don't qualify for hospitalization, there is a program that can help navigate their mental health. It's up to two weeks, sometimes longer, based upon individual need, and it is intensive therapy Monday through Friday for six hours a day. And it's a very unique program because you're getting that additional support that's needed right when you need it. Right now, the program at Ascension is able to enroll patients either the same day or next and has the capacity for up to 64 people seeking help. Utilizing those outpatient services will help reduce the crisis situations that could occur, but it also helps ensure that an individual is equipped with the tools needed. So not if, but when a crisis does occur, they know how to navigate it in a healthy way. Slaughter says parents should make sure to check in on their children and be mindful if they see a change in their behavior. And this program is available even for those who are not insured. We have details on how to sign up online at KSN.com. Here for you, Jessica Watson, KSN News 3.